Hello everybody, my name is Steve Allen. Welcome to Self Defense Solutions and welcome to the blog portion. And today the blog is about Bagua Zhong, just some fundamentals. Uh, I've been asked by a good friend of mine, great martial artist back in Arkansas. His name is Jason Boggs. Big shout out to you, Jason. Thanks for your question. Um, if you want to know about the Bagua Walk, how to do the Bagua Walk. So in the Qing style of Bagua Zhong, you do the dragon palms which are out like this and I'm facing the center of the circle and I'm gonna walk around the circle to do so I need to sort of do what's called mud stepping I need to glide and to glide is you see I've stepped out here so I come out like this come around up over out and I've got space here I'm not all locked up this way I've got space here now as I start to walk I don't want to bounce up and down I want to simply glide and let my thighs come together almost like in a scissor step. You can see this step. You see I made that step? I made that step. So I'll make it a little bit faster now and Les can maybe get a close-up of the step. And I'm going this way. See? Two, three, four, five. You see the feet here? One. See it's coming over. Then this one's coming this way. See, then this one's coming this way. So they're slightly in, and they're staying on the circle. I don't want to get to where I take this inside foot and turn it in. Don't do that, because then you'll get smaller and smaller and smaller circle. Okay? You can do it where this foot turns slightly in. So if I was going straight at you, it'd look like this. It's not like this. It's not straight, but slightly in. This back foot then can go somewhat straight, but I bring mine slightly in too, like this, you see. So they cross over, so almost where the toes will be, they intersect like this. So if Les can get me here, we'll try to do this so that you can see it. And then get a close up of the feet. Okay, so there's a good view of how to do this walk. So you have to practice it, play with it a little bit, experiment with it a little bit. We used to draw it off with chalk, which really helps too. And when you're bringing this arm out, you have to separate your torso from your hips. You don't want to get turned like this. You want your hips to stay as much here and your torso to turn here so that I'm turning inside the hip bones. So if the hip stayed like this, but my torso turned. So the hip bone will come slightly back. I don't want to turn all the way like this. I want to make sure when I walk that I'm rolling like a train wheel. I'm not bouncing up and down. Many people get here and they bounce, they push and bounce, don't do that. You're gonna roll from your hip. So when you take this step, you actually roll from your hip, you see? And it pushes the other foot out. You wanna feel like you're being led by the Dantian and you have to keep up with your, your feet has to keep up with being led here. Okay, so that's very important to do. Because why? If uh, my student Callum Ethorn, Callum come join me for a minute. A lot of y'all know Callum. He's been in a lot of videos as the person I'm always beating up. Don't see, I can't get him to act right on camera. So we'll teach him a good lesson. But what happens is, say hello, Cal. <laughs> you know, so pray for Cal here. Now, what we're going to do is, you see, when that first movement comes, you see, I'm going to turn the force, you see. But I can't turn everything over here to where I'm imbalanced or I'm off balance or anything like that. If he throws a blow, see, I'm this way, see? I'm already out like this. What if he throws this other blow? You see, I, mean, I can't just, I wanna just walk, you see? I'm already coming around him. That's a hallmark of Bagua is to get behind your opponent very quickly, 
Okay? So he throws this blow. I hit him in the back of the head. So what he did in the front really didn't matter, did it? You okay there? <laughs> he's addled. He's wasn't smile. He's not smiling now. So you see where this way? See, I'm already. So I'm walking. See, and it's very smooth to walk. See? <laughs> so that so you're not having to do, you're not having to fight him. You're not staying here in front of him and swapping. The moment he moves, you see, there's a move. <laughs> see, his his big force here got thrown to a different direction. See? And what if he throws a blow around this way? Well, you just go that way. See, I'm just walking. Most people can't walk and use their arms at the same time. They can take a step, then they have to use their arms. See, but that's force against force. But what if I'm going to go real easy now, try not to hurt you. <laughs> but throw it quick, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to start walking. And he'll tell you, I'm not hardly using any force. See? When you can walk and do it at the same time, that's very important. That's why I love Bagua. You know, I mean, I love all martial arts. You, most of you know me, I love all martial arts. But Bagua is my true one because it has everything in it that all the other martial arts have, plus the footwork that you need. Not this sport footwork, not that anything's wrong with that. But if you'll watch a lot of people who are fighting in the street, they're just having a contest. They're just standing here and they're like this. You put your hands up and we're bouncing and we're... That's not realistic. Because I never want to have a fight. I really do not. Because if I just say, I don't want to have a fight. Well, see, I'm already in Dragon Stretches its claws. So I don't want to have a fight. But let's just say he's really mad at me or he wants to come in here and attack me. Right? So I'm not going to get in my boxing stance. I'm not going to do any of those things. I'm just going to start walking. So he throws the blow, you see. I'm just walking. Now throw it, see. Okay. <laughs> Where did I go? See, that's why it, uh, a lot of people in China, they say, you know, a Bagua practitioner gets behind you like a ghost. You know, he's behind you so quick. What if he grabs and I can't walk. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Well, you do the same thing, but you, and he throws this blow. See, I'm just this way now. See? He can't hold on to that. Why? Because he's broken his own hold here. His own hand's going to come over here and break this hole. I just did this. See? So I'll grab again. See? I'm already... So I didn't have to step behind him. He got, he got himself in a position where... He, I was behind him when he moved. You see, so he's going to do it. I'm not going to step to him. You see, it's this way. Now, he, now he's behind. What if he does that and just throws a blow and backs off? So he does that, throws a blow, backs off. You see what I mean? That's fine. Now he's got to throw that blow. So there you go. And you see this moving by Gua where you're like this and turn. So that's exactly what I did. Okay. So those are just some of the applications of Bagua Zhong. Zong, I mean. And Bagua Zong, 8 tri Grand Palm, it's a great martial art. So, Jason, this one's for you and anybody else that wants to watch it. Thanks, Cal. I appreciate you, man. And so, we'll see you next time. Where? Inside the dojo.